Well, um, well, good morning. Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing today? I agree. I agree. What a beautiful Mission Beach, San Diego day. Um, and I will tell you, um, I've really been looking forward to this, as all of us has, uh, over the last uh, several months. Uh, today, I'm, I'm very proud to be joined by our city council member and representative of this great district, uh, Dr. Jen Campbell. Andy Field, who is our Park and Recreation Department Director. We have Nancy Geller, of course, and Cordelia Mendoza with the Mission Beach Women's Club. Shout out to the Women's Club wearing your red today, looking good. And of course, uh, Willie Gardner. Willie, thank you for being here, my friend. You're looking terrific. Uh, and of course, a shout out, uh, I don't have uh, time to name all of them, but we have so many of them here. So many great uh, representatives of our city's park and recreation staff and our rangers. Please give them all a applause, guys. Thank you, Park and Rex. Uh, this morning is, is very special. It's very special for all of us. And it's special uh, for our city. And it's very special for me as, as mayor. Um, this week marks the one year since we all came together to kick off the revitalization of this park here in West Bonita Cove. Uh, and today we are back for this very beautiful uh, reopening. And doesn't it look phenomenal? As I think uh, some of you know who have uh, known me that some of my best memories when I was uh, growing up as a kid were uh, in my hometown, was at our local rec center and our parks and what that meant uh, to me and what that means to so many of our uh, families. Uh, and when I first became a father myself, Catherine and I wanted our children to have the same experience. Parks are that important. It's one of the reasons that uh, I was a volunteer on the city's park and rec board and chairman, volunteer chairman of the Mission Bay Park Committee uh, before I was fortunate enough to be elected to the city council and then uh, the privilege to serve as your mayor. Um, and as I think many of you know, when I ran for mayor and made a strong commitment that parks in every neighborhood to serve all of our families, to serve our kids, have to be a hallmark of who we are as San Diegans and, and a great city. Um, and in my State of the City address in 2016, I outlined a plan of how our city could do just that. And we embarked on the largest park investment uh, in San Diego in modern history. And there were four pillars to what I think all of us have been uh, working on to bring a new or an improved park to every part of San Diego. First, of course, I wanted to ensure that Mission Bay Park was preserved and enhanced for generations to come. In 2018, we unveiled a $40 million restoration plan for Mission Bay Park that was funded in part by two voter-approved initiatives uh, that I was pleased to offer that the voters overwhelmingly approved. San Diegans love Mission Bay Park. And the thought behind those initiatives was to make sure that we have the funding, not just for the short term, but for generations uh, to come. And those dollars that the voters passed in all of their wisdom will now ensure that we have dozens of playgrounds, comfort stations, and recreation facilities throughout Mission Bay Park, just like here at Benita Cove. Uh, Mission Bay Park, as I think all of us know, this is the largest uh, kind of aquatic park in the nation. And we need to make sure that we protect it, we take care of it, and we make the investments for San Diegans, as I said, for generations to come. Uh, the second part of that 2016 vision was to have 50 new or improved parks in five years. And I will tell you, the great news is we are nearly there. 39 of those parks have been completed, eight parks under construction, and two dozen are in various stages of design uh, or construction bid phases. That's incredibly important for San Diego. The third pillar of this expansion uh, was partnering with our San Diego Unified School District to launch our Play All Day program. Um, this initiative creates recreational spaces for San Diegans by keeping parks on school property open during the non-school hours for community use, and particularly on weekends. We've opened 14 joint use parks and we have more than 30 others in various stages of construction and planning. So I want to thank our partners at the San Diego Unified School District, particularly Superintendent uh, Cindy Martin, for their collaboration on this great effort. Um, and those investments are paying off, as I've said before, because 
as we need and require more public spaces in our neighborhoods for more San Diegans to get out, particularly at this time in our city's history uh, as we continue to get on the other side of this pandemic. But these projects are really about the, the here and now and what we have accomplished so far. Uh, and that fourth pillar of our parks expansion plan is all about looking forward and doing it together as one San Diego. I'm really laying out a vision for where San Diego's amazing park system can be for not only for us uh, now, but for the future. And that's why we have embarked on a journey as a city uh, to develop a new parks master plan for our city. Believe it or not, this is the new parks master plan that our city's done in over 60 years. Um, it's about time, don't you think? Um, and so we have held dozens of public meetings, forums, and surveys over the past several years to make sure that we have that opportunity for all San Diegans to participate in the process. Uh, and they were very clear as we went out throughout the entire city. They want to see more parks uh, and they want to see that investment now. Parks hold a special meaning to our city. It defines who we are as San Diegans. We love being in the outdoors. We love our clean air. We love our clean beaches and bays. And we know we have to protect that and we have to invest in that. And that's again why um, today is so special because as we remember the playground that, that used to be here and we knew what the possible was uh, and that's why many of you started this here in Mission Beach. We said uh, Mr. Council Member and Mr. Mayor we can do a lot better um, and today uh, we have and I will tell you to be here to see the fences that come down I had the opportunity over the last several months to ride by on my bike uh, to see the progress, kind of trying to look over the fence. Uh, but to actually be here today and to see it, I just tell you it's exceeded all of my, all of my expectations. This is really special. Um, and it's also incredibly special. And why we're pleased, and I just look out and see so many members of our Mission Beach uh, community, because this park, this playground, is named after a beloved San Diegan, our longtime Mission Beach resident, Maruta Gardner. Uh, Maruta was absolutely part of the heart and soul of this beach, beach community, part of the fabric of, of Mission Beach for, uh, for years. Um, as I think many of you know, a former principal at Mission Bay High School, uh, Maruta was really dedicated to this community and constantly striving to improve the Mission Beach neighborhood. And of course, one of Maruta's most uh, passionate endeavors was to secure private funding for this very park. Because uh, she knew what this park could be. She had that vision from the very beginning. And of course, she never got to see the fruition of her efforts in person. But we're all here today because of Maruta's hard work, because of her tenacity, because of your determination uh, to leave something that's going to be very, very special not just for this community, but for San Diegans all across the city who will have the opportunity to come here and visit and play. Um, we lost Maruta four years ago. It was a very tough day. But how we lost Maruta, I think, says a lot about who she was. I think many of you know she was painting over graffiti in South Mission when she was tragically struck and killed by an impaired driver. She died literally trying to make this community and this city a better place. And that's why we knew that we had to see this project through in her memory. And we were able to include improvements for the West Bonita Cove Playground as part of a larger group of upgrade projects throughout Mission Bay Park. Um, and I will tell you, there's no doubt in my mind that on this beautiful San Diego sunny day after the storm has passed, that Maruta is up there smiling, looking down on all of us today and saying, uh, thank you for helping to make uh, this happen. Thank you for this community for pushing so hard. No doubt in my mind, she would be just as pleased as all of us are uh, today. And I particularly want to recognize uh, her husband, Willie, who's joined us here today. Willie, thank you, my friend. It is great. I'm glad you're here. Um, This playground 
with all of your help and support, will now and forever be known as the Maruta Gardner Playground. So I want to thank our Mission Beach Town Council, the Mission Beach Women's Club, um, for all, and I'll give them another hand. I mean, they're, they're doing a great job. And all of our community leaders for your support and for your passion. It shows what, it shows what a neighborhood can do. It shows what a city can do when you come together and you have people that love it and want to come together to do the right thing. Um, we have so many other important projects, obviously, that we're, uh, we're working on across the city. And let this be a beacon and the art of the possible for what we can do. I also want to uh, say a special shout out to our partners at Weir Construction, um, helping to make these uh, upgrades like the stuff you see behind us, the stuff, the renovating the half acre playground, uh, replacing the comfort station with a new one, constructing a new shade structure. Um, and installing new security lighting, everything ADA compliant. And I just learned today as part of the design for the actual park itself was um, after the, uh, the roller coaster and some of the colors and schemes, I thought it's just terrific. I love it, it makes all the sense uh, in the world. And as I said before, um, thank you all to our park and rec uh, team, Andy, to you and your team. Uh, this has been a labor of love through and through. What an amazing group, what an amazing organization. Uh, but thank you. I will end where I began, which is to say this is special. This is special to me personally. This is special to our city. And this is special uh, to our community. And I think what's going to be most special of all is when you're going to see the smiles on the kids' faces, smiles on the families' faces. Uh, they're going to be able to be here, the Maruna Gardner Playground, because this community and this city uh, stood up and made a difference. This represents the best of who we are, San Diego. So. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very, very much. And now it's uh, my pleasure to introduce uh, the council member of this uh, great district who's been such a strong supporter for all of our parks and recreations effort and uh, everything that we've been doing in here in uh, Mission Bay, council member Dr. Jen Campbell. Dr. Jen, come on up. Thank you, everyone. I'm Jennifer Campbell. I'm going to take this off so I can speak more clearly. I'm city council member for our district here, District 2, and it's an honor to be here this morning as we dedicate this playground in the name of one of Mission Beach's most beloved residents, Maruta Gardner, who passed away four years ago tragically. And I want to recognize and extend condolences to her husband, William, and all of her friends and family who are here and let you know that our community misses her each and every day. She was more than just an outstanding member of the Mission Beach community and the city of San Diego. She was a longtime educator who rose to be principal of Mission Bay High School, Mission Beach High School, I'm sorry, Mission Bay High School. She positively influenced class after class of San Diego students, including my own chief of staff, Venus Molina, who graduated from that high school and attended there the whole time that Maruta was the principal, and remembers her so fondly and all the lessons that she taught. Maruta was a tireless leader and worker in our community in so many ways, from removing graffiti to cleaning up the beach to leading the Mission Beach Women's Club. We miss her kindness and cheerfulness, and after retiring, she put her efforts into improving this park through the Play by the Bay renovation project. As we stand in the midst of her legacy today, it's only right that this playground bears her name, Maruta Gardner, so that future generations of Mission Beach residents and all San Diegans know who brought this lovely piece of paradise into fruition. In the words of Don Riley, Maruta's good friend, quote, no one could possibly fill her cowboy boots. <laughs> and today, I and many of us here are wearing red in her honor because red was her favorite color. And so today, let the work of Maruta guide us forward 
Let's live each day trying to live up the, to the example that she set by bettering our community for those who live here today, tomorrow, and into the future. With naming this playground after her, her memory will continue to always be a blessing. Thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Parks and Rec Department Director, our friend, wonderful Mr. Andy Field. Thank you and good morning. Welcome to Mission Bay Park. What a beautiful day after yesterday with all the rains and wind and so forth. A great day to reveal a brand new play experience here in Mission Bay Park, the first of many. But before we talk about that, I did want to give special thanks to both Mayor Faulkner and to Dr. Jen Campbell for their leadership here in making this park system shine. Over the past five years, we've had the benefit of seeing over 40 parks be constructed since 2016 and open to the public throughout the city of San Diego. And we're looking forward to seeing more of those constructed in the years to come. And in the spirit of volunteerism, I do want to uh, say a special thanks to all of you here who have helped make Mission Beach, Mission Bay, and Pacific Beach into a better place. The work of Maruta Gardner is one that we should all aspire to as we work to make our communities better, and that is part of what makes our park system shine and sparkle. Without volunteers and people who care for our parks, in addition to our dedicated employees, we would not be able to provide the park experience that you all enjoy so much day in and day out. And with that, I want to say a special thanks to our Parks and Recreation Department staff. I see our um, district manager and uh, senior park ranger, grounds maintenance manager, and a variety of staff who maintain this park to keep it looking spotless every day. And also, we have our Public Works Department. Without our Public Works Department, excuse me, Engineering Capital Projects Department now, they are responsible for building things. And, the, and they have been just on fire over the past five years, building and building more and more parks continuously, including this latest addition behind us. I see Elif Chitten, their deputy director, among, um, and also Louis Shar, their other deputy director, and a variety of project management staff that are here. So let's give a special thanks to them. As I noted at the beginning of my remarks, this is one of many parks that are opening under the Mayor's 50 Parks in Five Year Initiative. It's been an honor and a privilege to see so many of these sites open over the past five years, and we look forward to many more, in, due part, in small, no small part to the partnership with the San Diego Unified School District. We are opening multiple joint use facilities at multiple elementary and middle schools across San Diego, including several here in Council District 2, such as the recently opened Longfellow Joint Use in Claremont Bay Park. I encourage you to go and check that out. There's a turf field there where once there was decomposed granite and dirt. It's really neat to see these kinds of improvements happen throughout our park system. And then here in Mission Bay, this is one of many improvements that are scheduled as part of over a $40 million investment over those Mission Bay improvement funds that the mayor mentioned at the top of his remarks. This is one of several. There'll be more playgrounds like this as you see the rest of Mission Bay renovate and see a renaissance over the next five to 10 years. So with that, I'd like to conclude my remarks by saying thank you. We would not be able to have a park system like this without all of your support. And with that, I'd like to introduce both Nancy Geller and Cordelia Mendoza of the Mission Beach Women's Club to join us. Ladies. Thank you. Can you hear me? Put it down just a little bit. There you okay. go. Good morning, all. And what a glorious morning it is for our community and for our dear Maruda. The dream. A little more in it. There you go. There you go. A little more. A little more. The dream of the Benina Cove Playground Project began in 2014. The Mission Beach Women's Club made a donation of $1,000 to the San Diego Crime Stoppers to find the suspects that were putting razor blades into the sand of this playground. I was president at the time. And our membership was, <laughs> okay. 
and our membership was determined to make this playground into a safe haven where children could play without harm. Of course, Maruta immediately raised her hand to chair this fundraiser along with chairs Felicia Sakalo aiken and Cordelia Mendoza. We were all inst instantly Maruterized by Maruta's magical touch. She rallied the enthusiasm and promoted the ethics of hard work in reaching the goal of making the reality of a safe playground come into fruition. There are many of you out here today that were instrumental in this project, as well as by donating your time and money, you secured the success of Play by the Bay. Tragically, our dear Maruta was killed on February 13th, 2016. Our mayor, Kevin Faulkner, became the guiding hand and force who assured us that this playground would be built in Maruta's honor. And that he did. Looking out over this beautiful and safe playground, I envision the biggest smile on Maruta's face. And as she looks over this new wonderland, I can hear her saying her favorite line, my, isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible legacy and honor for our dear friend, sister, and community advocate. Because you live, Maruta, you left our community a better place. Rest in peace, dear Maruta, and let the children play. I have to follow that. <laughs> and can't you all just picture Maruta being here? right now with us, how happy she would be. This day is finally here, a big day for the community of the Mission Beach Women's Club, all helping to establish Maruta's legacy in the city and this beach that she loved so much. I'm sure you all feel honored as I do to be a part of it. The backstory behind getting this playground replaced, which Nancy spoke about and the mayor was a monumental goal, the largest effort and fundraiser the Women's Club had ever taken on. Maruta's commitment and enthusiasm for this project was contagious. For all of you who knew her, you know Maruta could get just about anyone to do just about anything. She was relentless. She'd have you come in away thinking it was your idea, or you'd go away wondering what the heck just happened. <laughs> and I'll say it again, we were all Maruterized. Every single member of the Mission Beach Women's Club jumped on board for Play by the Bay donating money, fundraising, and contributing in any way they could. When Mayor Faulkner folded the Bonita Cove Playground into the larger Mission Bay Park revitalization program, it was a dream come true, and Maruta would have been over the moon. Today is an especially happy day for sure, but it's also bittersweet because she's not here to share. In this extraordinary celebration, the opening of this beautiful playground and comfort station that will be enjoyed for decades to come. So when you see children playing and hear them laughing, like we do right now, in this playground, know that Maruta will also be here. She'll be here in spirit. She will always have a presence here. Not only is this playground named in her honor, but she also branded the entire city and county of San Diego as an educator and as an outstanding administrator. And she wasn't just principal of Mission Bay High School. She became assistant superintendent in two school districts, and then she ran the um, county juvenile department, education department. That was her last education position. So she rose very high in the ranks. Um, Maruta has left her indelible mark and has made us all better for it. Thank you, Mayor Faulkner. Thank you, Park and Rec Department, the members of the Mission Beach Women's Club, and a huge thank you, Willie, for sharing Maruta with all of us. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you all for coming out to witness this very uh, exciting moment. Um, I know as we've heard Maruta would uh, love to be here in person, but I think we can all feel that she's here. Uh, she's here with all of us uh, today, and her memory is going to continue uh, for this playground. And every time you see a family or a little kids out here like today smiling, uh, we'll all remember uh, Maruta. And 
how she represented, as I said, the best of, of who we are as uh, San Diegans. Um, so what do you say we walk over? I invite you all to come on over. We're going to cut the ribbon, and let's make this official, shall we? Ready. 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 All right, guys, we will lift this up and officially open Maruta Gardner Playground.